a blessed and pleasant good afternoon boys and girls moms and dads how are you today a happy and blessed monday to you today is the eighth day of june eight days so far in june a full week has gone by can you imagine that welcome to children's bible minutes brought to you by the anglican diocese of belize Muki and i are excited that you could be with us this afternoon listen we missed you on sunday rev saturday rev was busy and so rev could not get back in time for children's bible minutes on saturday but did you catch Muki on sunday did you hear him talk about the great commission that jesus gave the commission that we were sent out to do through the power of the father the son and the holy spirit which is the trinity yes Mookie was on Love FM at 4 p.m. and I believe we posted him right here on the Anglican Diocese of Belize pages as well. But guess what? We are here today to talk to you about another female Bible hero. Woohoo! We hear a lot of male Bible heroes, no? But we hardly hear of female Bible heroes. And today we want to talk about a female Bible hero whose name is Esther. Now, Esther was a Israelite woman who she did something amazing. She was an orphan who had to be raised by one of her uncles. And you know what? Let me not tell you the story. How about we look at the story that Muki selected for us today? This one is the story of Esther, the girl who would be queen. Let's have a look. Wow, did you see that? Esther saved her people. Now imagine, it might not have started out the way we think it should have. The king needed a new wife and so he sent for all the beautiful girls in the country and all the beautiful girls came and of all of them, he chose Esther to be his new wife. And he married Esther, but he wasn't thinking about the fact that Esther was a Jew or that Esther was anything other than just beautiful and he loved her very much. But this guy that worked for the king by the name of Haman, Haman didn't like the Jews. Haman didn't like God's people. He didn't want people to worship God. Haman wanted the people to worship him. And so Haman created a law that at a certain time when the trumpet blows, everybody should bow down and worship Haman. But Mordecai, who was the uncle of Esther, didn't like this rule because Mordecai loved God. And Mordecai knew that if he bowed down to Haman, he would be disrespecting God. And so Mordecai decided he wouldn't. And because Haman got angry at this, Haman tricked Esther's husband, the king, and made the king sign a law that says, 
any Jew who does not bow down to him and has to die, which means that Mordecai and all of the other Israelites were going to be in danger. But Haman didn't know that Esther was also a Jew. So when Mordecai heard the news, he went to go tell Esther, look, we are in danger. All of the Israelites, your cousins, your aunties, your uncles, everybody, they are in danger. They're going to be killed because we only serve the one true God. And then there was more to the story. You see, you couldn't just go and see the king how you want, even if you were his wife. And so Esther knew that if she went in without permission, she would be in trouble. So what Esther did was she decided to have a party. And she invited the king and she invited him. And, and at the party, she said to the king, I'm sad I can't enjoy myself because someone's trying to kill me. What? said the king. Who is trying to kill you? What? Tell me. And so she said, well... It's Haman, your assistant, because he says that all the Israelites should die. And guess what? I'm an Israelite. And the king was angry. He was so angry because he realized that Haman had tricked him. And so he had Haman arrested. And Esther was able to save her people. So you see, sometimes, boys and girls, God puts us in positions where we need to be in order that we could fulfill the things that he wants to do through us. We might not always understand why we are put in a certain place or why certain things happen to us, but God always have a plan that's the moral of the story. You may be in a place where you don't want to be. You may be with friends that you don't really want to hang out with today. But think about it. Why has God put you in that place? And how can you use the fact that you are there in order to bring God glory? That's it. That is it right there. That's the entire moral of the story. But you know what? We have a song called Esther's Song that Mookie and I think you might enjoy. So let's have a listen to this song.
wasn't that an enjoyable song? An enjoyable song that tells us all about the story of Queen Esther. And guess what? Muki has something special for us. He has a new Bible hero. Thank you, Muki. He has a new Bible hero for us. And the Bible hero for today is Queen Esther. Esther was a beautiful queen from Persia and she was Jewish. But she kept her faith a secret from the king. And when the law was made for all Jews to be king because they wouldn't worship Haman, Esther became afraid. She wanted to save her people, so she fasted and prayed for God's help for three days. And then Esther prepared a banquet for the king, and she was very brave and asked him to save her people from destruction because it was all a plot from Haman. The king granted her her request and signed a new law to help the Jews, and Haman went to jail and was eventually killed. Esther is our Bible hero for today. Da -da 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 -da, Queen Esther. Guess what, boys and girls? I'm having way too much fun, Mookie and I, with you, but we are out of time. So you know what? If you don't mind, could you bow your heads that we could say a prayer together, please? Excellent. Thank you. Let's pray. Good afternoon, God. God, we give you thanks that we could come together to spend time in your presence. God, we love learning about you, and we love learning the stories from the Bible. We give you thanks for Queen Esther today in our story, and she was brave and bold and wasn't afraid to let people know that she believed in you, and she wasn't afraid to speak up for what she wanted. She wasn't afraid to speak up for what was right. God, we ask that you would help us, that you would send your Holy Spirit to be with us, that we too might not be afraid to tell others about you and to stand up for right when we see things going wrong. Father, we know that in this world, sometimes there will be people like Haman who try to get us all in trouble. Protect us from those kinds of people. Help us to be brave enough to say, eh, eh, no, that's not right. Help us to remember that in all things, we are supposed to do what is right in your sight to bring you honor and glory. We pray for those who do not know your love. We pray for those who are afraid of saying that, that that's not right. We are praying for those, God, who, because of their silence, might be in trouble today. Help us to be a voice for those who have no voice. Help us to stand up to do what is right in your sight and for the good of your people. We just lift ourselves and our prayers unto you, God, through the name of your most precious son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Well, boys and girls, thank you so much for joining Muki and I for Children's Bible Minute. We had a wonderful time learning today about how to be brave, to do what is right in the sight of God, and to help protect one another, because that is our job, just like Queen Esther did. We are happy that Esther was a good example for her people and is still a good example for us today. But we are out of time, so we'll have to wait till tomorrow to see if we will get a new Bible hero and to see what new story Muki has planned for us. So until then, stay home, stay safe, and until next time, bye for now. <laughs>